tax frequency got a bench. Good evening. Welcome to the Clifton okay, Public gotcha. Safety Billing Committee meeting. This meeting is being recorded for Cablecast and YouTube presentation by Area 58 Community Access Media. The video of this meeting is not to be considered an official public record. Okay. So, as far as um, my email goes, we have not received any invoices to approve. No okay. APC, no context, no. You know, well, I'm not going to sign a context one right now. Anyway. Okay. Um, I'm surprised you didn't get one from us because we're usually pretty good like that. <laughs> uh, and APC has been slow the whole way through, so it is what it is. A uh, couple of things. We are still struggling a little bit with the cell check system. Uh, the vendor that was doing the cell check system vanished and said, I can't do it. I, I, I've gone to three different police stations. I've gone through your drawings. Uh, the stuff that was specified by Zell doesn't exist. Uh, I'm spending way too much time on it. I'm, I'm done. So uh, we've, we're, as a good OPM, we're working on a plan B. That plan B should be executed by Monday of next week. Uh, we have a site visit either Friday or Monday next week, and we expect to physically be working almost instantaneously after we get a quote. Um, the equipment is uh, local uh, and in stock, I, I am told. And it, it, this is not a complicated system. We only have two cells and, and, I, and it, in an interview area. So we're hoping that we can get this done in the next couple of weeks. It has been... Uh, my only disappointment on this job, I, the, we, 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 I feel we've let you down because the chief is, uh, has to modify the way he does operations because of this. And I, and I apologize up front on it, but it's honestly something that we thought we had covered three months ago, and we didn't. So, Can I, can I jump in on this? Just yeah. going on the subject through you, Madam Chairperson. Uh, essentially what's happening, without the intercom system in the cells, we cannot utilize the cells. Uh, we can we can bring someone in and book them up, put them on a Murphy bar, give them a BT photograph and book them in, but we can't put them there. So we either bail them, right. or if they're combative, we either, uh, we've got a mutual aid agreement with Halifax, and I spoke with the chief yeah. today extending, because I said, oh, it's only going to be a week, maybe two. Now it looks like it's going to be... Uh, it's probably going to be two weeks. Uh, uh, chief Chavs over in Halifax, anything we need. Right. But... Um, there are also other uh, related items with this company, so I ha hope they haven't pulled out completely because uh, they do our, um, our, our door entry, electronic entry system. Mm -hmm. And uh, although my guy's got some training, he's got no training on cameras. We have no access to the camera system. Okay. We don't have a keyboard or a monitor. Well, I know they're coming back um, either tomorrow or Friday because whatever was missing on the Sally port has been installed. Yes. So they're aware of that because I talked to Rob on the way down. So is that an electrician that's got to wire that striker? Uh, that once that striker has to be wired by uh, Dick, and Dick Dick, okay. Dick will take care of all that and, and tie it into the card access because the the striker goes to the card access. And, and if the card and it access has to be is programmed. there, yeah. So that. Uh, I'll work on and I'll, I'll work on getting a training as soon as possible on the cameras. I didn't know about the training on the cameras. And so uh, that's a miscommunication the, between Robin. The and intercom I. system will also will also be able to uh, record because what we do is it's state law. We have to at a minimum audio record uh, when we interview someone. We've always taken a one step. Everyone does audio and video record. So that will. My be, understanding is it goes to a computer. I think the computer records it as a as a, a wave file. So. And the cameras are in there. Same thing with booking. We've yeah. always uh, recorded our bookings. Right. So, I don't know the particulars on that, Chief, because I'm starting from scratch. Mm -hmm. But, the group that we're using has done 70 police stations Perfect. in Massachusetts. So, what I don't know, they're going to educate us. All right. Um, I have other things, but yeah, thank you. I just wanted to right. keep the committee up to speed on some of these things. So, um, yeah, I know. Uh, don't you think I haven't thought about this? See, now we couldn't keep, we could keep prisoners there, but we can't in this one. Go figure that one out. That was considered a holding cell. This is, the con this is considered a detention cell. 
We're this yeah, close, though. Different definition. I know, I know. It, well, and we had DPH scheduled for tomorrow. I canceled it last week. Right. So, That's I mean, it's just they have to come out after we install all this stuff and bless it. Before he can, even when it's all installed, they still have to come out and bless it. But they are and like they, like this. And they're they, not. They do it yearly, too. They yeah. got to follow up and inspect it yearly. Yeah, missing a piece of what we need is Right. Which is right, exactly okay. what I said to them where I fell on the sword and carved up my belly and guts came out, <laughs> pretty much. Um, so uh, we are working on that. I don't want to think we're not. We, we you know, uh, Dave and I talked three times today, two times yesterday, and two times on Monday. So uh, we initially went down the path with Juniper, who's the electrician, because they ran all the conduit for the system, per the plans. And uh, Juniper got as frustrated as Dick did after reviewing the plans on what's on the plans to, to be done, which is why I want to hold on on, on, on Zell's money because I have to have a real serious sit down with these guys because everyone on this job has worked really hard, yourselves included, to get this done. We all knew what we were getting into when we started down the path that this was going to be a tough job with as little money as known to mankind on a public project and <laughs> we did it though yeah. but we did it yeah. but we but we, we we really haven't done it the ball's on the one inch line and the cameras are checking to see if the nose has gone over so uh we and we can't access the cameras because he doesn't have training <laughs> so so we, we've so got to get those the minor issues done uh i'm going to be sending over a form to you uh for warranty um there's things that are going to need to be fixed in that first year, and we want to we want to log all of them in to make sure they get followed up on. Even though it's not our responsibility, but we have a system that works really well. You know, where it goes in, we tag it, we put it in a ledger, so that we can follow up on them. It'll be we'll be doing this long after this committee has disbanded, unless he convinces you guys to stay on for another ten years. So, um, I just want to let you know that's coming too. All right, because you you shouldn't have a list like this. You should have a ledger with this this isn't right, that isn't right, this isn't right, that isn't right. The building has a, probably 250,000 parts. 500 of them are going to break in the first year at some point in time, whether it's a lock set, a door closer, something. It happens. It's warranted. This guy that we have for a general is going to run back here. He's, he has every time. He is. Um, we got a... Um, we, the civil engineer who drew up the driveway, that eight and a half by 11 thing that we got, uh, came out and complained about uh, some of the things related to the, the basin in the back. Uh, he had a five or six line punch list that we got yesterday from Zell. And I want to go over it with him, uh, with Zell and Dave. Uh, four of the five of them I don't think apply to this job. Uh, and he's not aware, you know, that the building went up nine inches, uh, that his grades don't work. So he's, you know, looking at things that aren't exact to his plans. Well, yeah, we, we raised the building nine inches. So some of those things have to be taken care of. A couple of them are legit, and Dave and I are going to work through some of those. And some of them, one, one of them will go away as soon as the grass uh, takes. And I, I, I didn't walk back there to see if it started to sprout, but I'm guessing it has. It is, yeah. It should be starting to really, the fescues, the spray and that green stuff has fescues that stabilizes immediately and grows usually within a week. And it's usually like six inches tall in a month. So um, I don't want you to think that we're not on it. We are. It's just some of the, it's, some of the stuff's a little slow going. Uh, budgetary wise, we still have a few items that are, uh, we haven't got a, uh, requests for card access, uh, additional card access, a uh, report writing table, and a uh, card access swap at the training room. I don't know what that is, but Rob's got it on his list. You can, I can you, explain you know that what it if is. you like. No, I don't no, need okay. to explain it. The exposure is about $3,750. That leaves us with $6,830, and I'm praying to all the gods that I know that the cell detention system will be six thousand seven hundred and twenty eight dollars <laughs> so hopefully it'll be less than uh since all the conduits are run and the 
components appear to be about two thousand dollars. We're looking at a two or three day install. We're going to be real close. All right. That's that. Um, I have one item that I'm going to ask that we go into executive session for and turn the television camera off. If that is okay with the chairman, that came up uh, yesterday, so it's unforeseen and therefore would not be posted on the agenda. But I, I want to go over that too, if, if we can. Hmm. Is that all right? It's up to you. Yes, yeah, so we've never gone into executive session. We've never session. gone into executive session, so. All right. We do have a reason. Okay. It's, it would be uh, a potential litigation. Okay. 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 And the chair will declare. The chair will. Someone will make a motion to go into executive session for potential litigation. Um, the chair will declare that being an open session is detrimental to the town's position, and uh, then we will take a roll call vote, and we will state in the motion that we'll be coming back out to open session. I'll make the motion. So, but should we? In the interests of the camera and, and the person filming, should we do that at the end? You can do it whenever you want. Do the roll call vote first. I think we should go through whatever else. Pass well, the motion. Go through all your business so yeah. that we, we, we don't have to we come can, back out. That way we can release him. That's fine with you guys. Okay. All right. Should I jump Just so in? your hearts don't, it's not the end of the world type <laughs> of an issue, but it's something that has to be discussed. Should I jump in here? Go ahead. So uh, I got what is the, uh, like the hit list. Some of the things we already addressed. These are just things that we, uh, mm -hmm. we see that uh, they're not really glaring problems. But they're still pendings and some of the issues need to be corrected. We talked about the uh, microphone intercom system in the cell, the recording system in the, the interview room and in booking. Um, Sally Port door has been, uh, it's, it's it, just, it just needs to be wired. Fire extinguisher uh, and the evidence processing has to be mounted. The IT, there's a couple of interior doors that aren't closing all the way. So they, it's just, uh, Dave is aware of this. I think he's waiting for uh, a day when he has his people there and he's gonna I knock. I think Dave told me they were coming out Friday for the doors. Yeah, we still, uh, garage doors, they originally asked, and like I said, I discussed this entire list with Rob mm -hmm. uh, on Monday, so he's well aware of it. Garage door openers, the uh, APC, Kevin originally asked me how many would you need. I figured I counted the cars and I didn't know how tough my guys are on equipment, so I said, give me a dozen. I mean, we can we can bring that down, but the idea is when a guy comes in with a prison, he push a button and pull right in and close the door. Uh, cell corridors, they still need uh, card access. We talked about this previously. Um, the cell uh, offices need a key to get into the cell corridors and then the cell. There's mm -hmm. card access to get into other areas in booking but not into the cell corridors. Um, it looks like they are wired because there are two outlets next to each door with blanks on them. I, I'm, they, not, I'm not aware of it so I, I'll have to talk to Rob about that. And I, I okay. shot him a picture last week. Um, there's a, several electrical boxes around the station that need covers. They're like blank boxes. Um, the women's locker room has a strong sewer gas smell, and they sent out plumbers on uh, May 22nd, and the plumber suspected that the, the smell was from well water. But we have um, one, two, th three other bathrooms, four if you count the, the cells. There's no smell there, so. Have you put water in it? They've put water in I it. Made they've, a lot of water. They've put bleach down there. They bleach have. Bleach is not what you want to do. Well. Just water. So there's a trap there. Well, you know, we've. I've personally have sat there and, and come run to, water. Come oh, well, I just turned on the faucet and the boot wash thing. I don't know right. if it's coming from there or the sink. I've run water everywhere. Okay. Um, we'll take a look at it. it it's a concern. Don't we have treatment for the well water? Well, we don't have this. Um, we don't have to smell in any of the other bathrooms. No, don't we have a, they put in a, you're not just pipe straight to the well. I think that we are. I think we'll pipe straight from the building. To this building. To this building. Right. We have, we have treatment here, don't we? I wouldn't bet on it. <laughs> I will tell you this. I mean, when all, we did, when we did connect and we brought this up two or three meetings ago, we did say that the well pump for this particular building what it's nearing say? its life expectancy, yeah. and that you need to upsize it a size when, when you when you change it. It might just be that it doesn't. I think it's probably a P trap. It's not quite full yet, and that's why we're getting right. gas back up. But it also could be that maybe that needs to 
the it's not getting used nearly as much as the other. It's drying out, so it could be drying out. Might um, be a routine. Uh, well, no, we we have uh, uh, Leanne, the police clerk, uses it daily. And no, I'm just saying, like in the in the locker rooms, all it, it might not be. If if the P traps are drying out, we might just need to run the faucet once a week, kind of thing, mm -hmm. to fill those back up, so we don't get that gas coming back. Well, it's got to be looked into either way. They, they've yep. already sent plumbers out. Um, we talked about the camera system we need a keyboard. And let's see, um, the alarm system is installed. So the car access is installed. We need training. Camera system is installed, but uh, need training. we need training and access. Uh, we got the, uh, I got a big bill for, uh, we brought the, uh, um, the locksmith in a couple of times, but we got the key schedule down. We got a master, submaster, and then uh, keys for other different areas: IT, record storage, uh, armory. And um, I just noticed today. I don't know if this is something we should expect, but the paint in the Sally put already in a couple of spots is coming up. On the floor? Yeah. Uh, no, it shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. And so it's, I'm just mentioning it. We moved the motorcycle oh, in, some other things. This was painted by the prisoners, right? Um, I don't know whether or not it was. I think it was. I think it was. Um, I'll look into it. Um, the HVA system, right now, doesn't seem to be working. I mean, working properly. It's, it's working. You can hear it. One of my sergeants, who obviously knows more than me, seems to think that the AC and the heat fighting each other, that AC goes on and maybe the heat goes on. Sometimes he says it seems like it's running consistently. Well, fans should be running consistently when it's occupied. Yeah. So, uh, again... Uh, of course, Ross, you jumped into my head as soon as... So, I was, was it balanced? Yeah. yeah, I have balance in one point. So, again, I think that we this goes back to the first item that you said is I don't have training. Mm -hmm. So I think well, the first thing we have to do is get training on it. Yeah. Well, we, that, we that have, strikes me as my IT guy got training, issue. but he doesn't have access to it because we don't have in-house um, Wi-Fi. We are slated to install in-house Wi-Fi um, in the coming week or two. I don't know how that would affect the operation of the HVAC. They, uh, yeah, even if they're not connected to Wi-Fi, they should be standalone. They, they should are. be standalone, and you should be able to access it non-Wi-Fi to a program, or yeah. at least see what it's doing. So, I'll find out. I'll I'll, I'll follow up on that with. Uh, I, uh, I stood uh, at that thermostat trying to get it down from 76 for a good 40 minutes this morning before I gave up and opened the window. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Did you say the so, child poop? <laughs> Thanks. I, I didn't hear that part. Yeah. <laughs> the selective hearing that Half my wife complains about. My plastic protective cover on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I, I think it's probably something to do with the programming, where some of them might. I would be. Mode and yeah, might be I'd be willing mode. to bet. I'd be willing to bet it's all programming yeah. because the system you have. You should be relatively comfortable. Yeah. I mean, you should not be uncomfortable. The it's men's awesome. locker room is great. My office, not so much. A lot of hot air in the corner office. We don't have enough BTUs going there. <laughs> I do get a good breeze over there, though. It's nice. It's, uh, that's my entire. Believe it or not, every time you open a window in this building, you're throwing the whole HVAC system off. You I know understand that. that? I do. Okay. All right. I'm all for like just opening all the windows, but. It's not the way it works today. I guess I can bring you up to speed. We have ordered a, uh, the window should be in next week for installation, the changeover and the doors. Mm -hmm. um, Rob, I've worked Rob, with Rob pretty closely the last few weeks. Uh, he stole me. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think he thinks that I'm going to be mean to him when I call him. But the, the thing is, this is pressing. He's afraid to drive through town. <laughs> this, this is pressing down on me because I've only got a few weeks left. I want to see that this is no, all done. No, of course. Uh, he, he's aware of it. He actually, uh, we've actually, maybe not here, but outside of here, we're making headway on all your issues. Mm -hmm. So some of these things a little more complicated than just having a guy come out and actually do the work. It's mm -hmm. Explaining to the guy why he owns doing the work. <laughs> so, uh, and all, all of that seemed to have got done this week, so we seem to be in good shape. But the training, uh, unfortunately, the training should be something that's done and videotaped and 
So because you're going to be gone, and your 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 guys are going to be gone, and the next guy in is going to have the same questions when he presses the wrong mm -hmm. button. So we'll uh, we'll get on that too. Thank you. All right. Is that the entire punch list? That's my entire punch list right now. And nothing else that you know of. We have insurance is in place now. Insurance is in place. I worked that out that day. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> I think the final CO is actually in place too. Um, not even the 30 day temp, or, or, or at least we got all the paperwork to the inspector for the permanent CO. Mm -hmm. And um, Maya's happy. Um, I think he painted the stripes that weekend on the parking lot. Uh, yeah, I mean, one of Zell's punch list items was, you know, something to do with the parking on this side, which isn't even in the contract. I mean, his drawing show us button up to the existing parking lot. I mean, it's mm -hmm. like, how do I tell Davey? He's going to rip up something on this side of the line that's not even on the drawings. It's just it, it, the disconnect with, with, uh, with their understanding of how we got this completed, I think, it, it, I don't know, maybe it's my end. I don't know, but I just feel like there's, there's a disconnect there on... With how many parts and pieces? We Contacts and Zell. We, we, with the whole, with 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 the cell check, with the with the audio, with the visual. Yeah. I mean, we did all that, uh, and we shouldn't have had to do any of it. Um, but it's you know, it's just part of the way we got this done for three million dollars. <laughs> I mean, you should see the prices in the, just the past six months. Out. Of control. How much per square foot? Uh, this station, to if we bid it today, would probably be 4.9. Wow. Mm -hmm. Right. We struck at the right time. We struck. Yeah. If we had waited two months, we wouldn't have been able to do it. I mean, it's. We uh, only made it on the bids. Mm -hmm. We've only made it on the bids. We get just one, right? Yeah. 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 So I'd say 4.4.9 4. probably. Um, we had a, we have a roof that we're doing in Bourne uh, High School. And um, we're removing we're removing exhaust fans. You guys all know what a little exhaust fan looks like above the bathroom. We're removing all the exhaust fans and replacing the ex exhaust fans so we can do the roof. The exhaust fans are probably worth ten thousand to purchase. Probably prevailing wage twenty thousand to install. So we carried forty thousand. Uh, we got one bid at one hundred and twenty thousand. Mm -hmm. We got no bids for electric to disconnect them and connect them. And, and, and it's like this all over the state. It's not um, isolated to just Eastern Mass like it usually is. Because everyone's so busy? Everyone's so busy. They don't want to take a look at the smaller jobs. You know, it's just, it's crazy. I mean, schools are going for $600 a square foot with the MSBA right now. All right, this building's 200 and, I don't know, 52 or something like that. It's, it's really, really, well, uh, so, um, that's the good news. <laughs> so, okay. All right. So um, we have the minutes from our May first meeting. Did anybody have any issues or amendments with them? Um, Motion to approve <coughs> the minutes as written. So moved. And second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, motion passes. So anything else other than nope. the second session? I have nothing that needs to be voted or discussed in open session. I want to give you an update on something. Alrighty, so um, I'd like a motion, or I'm making a motion to enter into an executive session. Um, one, one other item before. Oh, I'm sorry. Session. Yes, you did. Okay. Yes. I'm sorry. Um, so a couple of people uh, approached me on the lifespan of this committee, and I had particular ideas in mind and um, preferences, and I brought it up to the selectmen on Monday just to make sure everyone was in agreement. And um, obviously we were ending the immediate work to be done. It was my hope that maybe this committee would continue to be a committee, obviously meeting less frequently, but stuff's going to come up in the first year. At some point, some questions are going to come up about uh, the fire station and the fact this committee has been so functional and works so well and seems to be a really good mix of personalities and talents. So the hope was that the committee would, would, would continue for a while. Um, uh, uh, probably after another month or two, maybe meeting much less frequently. So that was one piece. 
Now, the other piece that's going on concurrently is we are beginning to work on this master plan for the whole complex, and I wondered if this committee might not be a committee to begin to morph at some point into a master plan planning committee. Um, uh, and so no decisions have to be made on any of this. Really, the main thing was I wanted to bring it up Monday night to the selectmen, knowing we were meeting tonight. Both of my colleagues were very enthusiastic about both ideas. Um, and as we know in town government in Plumpton, once you sign up for something, it's for life. So, um, See that? You guys are getting accolades because you hired yeah. a good old. You did a good yeah, job. That, huh? it has nothing to do with the no. And, and actually, that's, that, that, how, that, how, how long do we own P three for <laughs> with this job? He's running away. As Two more. Get out of here. As soon as I get that camera on, I'm out of here. <laughs> Never really drive through. I'm not going to even drive through. I'm going to go all the way around through the other way. So we very much hope that the committee might continue to function if you guys would be willing to serve um, and just the planting the seed of the idea that may be morphing into a master planning committee, maybe with some additions along, along the way. So I just leave that for your thought. And um, thank you so much for your service. Um, we got this done. We amazing. did it, yeah. Uh, so you guys did, did it. I'm just job. an advisor. He did a great job. He did a great job. Yeah. It's a huh. great legacy. It is. Thank you. Yeah. But you guys did a great job. I mean, our residents, let's face it. They supported they, us. They trusted us. Yeah. yeah. Unanimous at town yeah. meeting. Come on. It doesn't get any better than that. Yeah. I have an issue that I would like to bring up in regard to the complex here. Um, I read on Facebook where a young man for his Eagle Scout wants to do some work around the flagpole. And, and I'm not sure how many people realize that we have a, a time box buried out near the time, out by the plate pole. Time capsule? Yes, Who knows time that? capsule. When did, it, when did it go in? Um, before I was town clerk, so I became town clerk in 97. So it's been there for many years. When's it supposed to be opened? If it's pre-64, I'm digging it up for the silver coins. <laughs> He'll be out there tonight. He'll be out there tonight. I got a Don Kennedy dollar. This is a problem. I don't know how many people are aware of this. I think perhaps John Walker knows about it. Um, well, you certainly ought to let whoever the master planning committee. Yeah, so I guess my point is if they start That's digging awesome. up by the flight mm. pole. But, I mean, what, what were they planning to do with the flight pole? I, I don't know. Well, just decorations around it. I don't think they were planning to. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, think it's much subsurface. Yeah, yeah. But, but whatever. But that's still the Eagle Scout's no. going to fund yes. it with the contents it's, of the box. It is a time capsule out there in some place. <coughs> I was there and I witnessed it being put in. Well, the bigger levels, we probably someone must know where it is, and we ought to mm -hmm. figure yeah. that out. Yeah, instead yeah. of just kind of digging until we when, get something. When we bulldoze the whole thing, it's under the big W. Yeah. We, it's under the big W. Yeah. We, we need a, we need a Ouija board so we can talk to Joe Freitas in the oh. hereafter. <laughs> I, don't I, I don't remember who wrote. I don't. I'm sure it's in the newspaper if you you Google it. So this must mean you have to live an incredibly long life because you're the <laughs> repository of all these memories. Well, I've lived in Plimpton for 48 years, so it, it's, it's so it's it's not older than it's 50 not years. Older, yes, that's right. So that's I'm 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 been willing to bet it went in in '76 or somewhere around then, or, or the town's right, 300th or something. That. No, it was in 2007. So oh, it was, was before that. It was before that. Yeah. Thank you. Um, okay. I just think that should be known to somebody. Yeah, we know we should figure it out. And we should yeah. write it down somewhere in here with some record that we're going to keep because at some point there will be work. I make a motion. We do another one. And who's going to remember <laughs> where the record is? Well, <laughs> see, I think we it was during we we Lenore's turn as town clerk. Because she passed away, so yeah. we can't get information from her. So. Well, I'm sure there's a record of it somewhere. Someone will know. I, Maybe her son David. Maybe mm. mom, mom and her daughter, probably. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Uh, I think, to begin with, I think John Walker would be a good person okay. to begin with. Um, oh, okay. What was the other one? 
Well, maybe it was passed well, on Darryl. to Tara, so I'll check Darryl. with Tara oh. as well. I don't think so. I don't think she knows about okay. it at all. Okay. But um, I think maybe uh, mm -hmm. Daryl. For now, um, yeah. He probably would know. Okay. Maybe, uh, he has a good memory for things like that. Okay, good. Good summer project. Thank you. Okay. Let's um, move along then. So I'm declaring the need for an executive session due to the potential of litigation. So no, someone needs to make Forgive a motion. So and then the chair and then declares. Declare. Okay. Thank you. And then, here. Somebody make a motion for us to enter. I'll make a motion that we enter executive session to discuss potential litigation. In the town's position. In the town's position. And I'll second the motion. And you're going to say? I declare. You declare that. You declare that being an open <laughs> session is detrimental, is detrimental to the to town's the position. Town's position. Okay. I actually wrote that down. Yeah, I just right. can't read my writing. That's okay. And then you do a roll call vote to go into the executive session. Roll call. Okay. Uh, Mr. Morin. Yes. Yes. Mr. Michael. Mr. McPherson. Yes. Mr. Williamson. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you can't will, get your name it, out. And we will myself. not yes. be coming back to open session. So exactly. that's the end of the broadcast. Thank you for watching. Thank you, John. <laughs>